So, figured this was worth video blogging. Um, we're on our way down to Paracon, Las Vegas Paracon, to investigate the Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada. And from the moment this trip has been planned, everything you can imagine has gone wrong from planning. Now, the day before the main transportation to tow the Paranosis trailers broke down. So we've reconfigured how to get the trailer down there. We're overheating on the way out. Running a little behind schedule, obviously, about an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes out of Salt Lake, almost to Wendover, nine minutes, or nine miles from Wendover. Call our talent, Cleve Hall from Monster Man, to find out his rental car was stolen. Kind of typical for this trip and everything that's going on now and up to it, but then started thinking, have we pissed something off? Is this a sign? What else to expect? I'm almost wondering if the drive down to Washoe is going to be just as interesting as the actual investigation, just because everything from this point has already kind of shown us, don't, don't mess with us. It knows we're coming, or they know we're coming, and uh, everything up to this point, in my opinion, is an indicator to uh, be aware, be warned. So, interesting, definitely interesting. The journey continues. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to our video blog here. As you can see, we're stopped at a location with severe mechanical auto problems. <laughs> Last time I did an update, we were nine miles out of Wendover when we just learned our talent for Las Vegas Paracon from Monster Man, Cleve Hall's car got stolen, which was one part of the problem. The other part of the problem happened yesterday where the van that was supposed to be towing the Paranosis trailer broke down, which has ended us here. About two hours out of Wendover, about 20 miles from Ely, Nevada, still a long journey's away, or a long way from our journey at the Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada, which at this point I'm just gonna call the cursed journey to Washoe. The signs are everywhere. We're here at this uh, Slots Motel, out in pretty much what I'm going to consider the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and you can see it, it almost feels like a Hollywood movie set. It's almost surreal. The clouds, the birds, it just sounds weird. The doors are still open. As a matter of fact, when we first pulled up, we noticed an open sign. But the porch is littered with trash. The ice machine, empty. The parking lot, we're the only people for miles around. Doors are open as if who or whatever was here got up and left for a reason. And the one thing I noticed when we pulled over and tried to put the car in park was that sign right there, which to me says it all. The sign, everything has a price. Well guys, on this journey, the cursed journey to Washoe, Paranos is, is paying that price. It's been one thing after another. That's why, in my opinion, the journey to Washoe is gonna be just as interesting as what happens, the payoff, the, the finale at Washoe. This journey, this couldn't have been planned. This is raw, unedited. This isn't in the script. These are real life problems that are happening one after another. They say three strikes are out. This is like our 10th strike. I don't think we have any more strikes. What'd you find out under there, man? Anything? Yeah, our shifter on our transmission slipped off. It's fixable, but you know, it's not going to hold itself. So now we get a jimmy rig things. 
Welcome to Paranosis. What you see is what you get. This is the real deal, folks. Join us. We're going for an adventure. I just don't get it. The message is clear. The journey's only begun as we make our way to the Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada to investigate with Team Paranosis. Says they're open. Yeah, there's nobody here. It just, it seems like the set of a Hollywood movie. You couldn't fake this stuff. Looks like there's vacancy. I don't uh, know what to say other than this place just has a creepy vibe. Horns. I don't know. It just, it again, it seems like the set of a horror movie. It even feels creepy and hopefully that creepy vibe that I'm experiencing is going to transcend to you guys, the viewers. <coughs> Unbelievable. I mean, just the energy of this place. Again, something just doesn't feel right about this place. And as you can see, Brandon is working on the uh, the vehicle still. Might have found the problem. Yes, that sound right there, that's a good sound. And I don't mean that motorcycle, I mean the truck started because 10 minutes ago, the sickness I felt in my stomach being stranded out here on what feels like just, I don't know, I'm waiting for the chainsaws to start blaring up and somebody to chase after me. Um, this stuff isn't part of the plan, the journey to Washoe, the cursed journey to Washoe is what I'm gonna proclaim this to be. But take a look in this place. I mean, it's still furnished. Doors are opened. We have not touched this place. And another message on the wall. These signs keep popping up. <laughs> Whether it's the signs on the water tanks or spray painted, the vandalism, or even the rocks that are stacked up. To me, that's a sign. To what, I don't know. Hopefully these signs keep happening. I mean, even check this out. That is sick. There's a little mouse caught in a little wax trap there. Again, I say this just feels like a Hollywood movie set. And I'm so happy that we have the cameras rolling batteries charged because this again this wasn't part of the plan we're actually six hours behind schedule because of the series of misfortunate events that have led up to this I, I don't even know what to say I mean these are pews from what looks like maybe a church work boots I I don't know I mean, I don't know if this is, I don't know what it is. It's creepy, it's real, and it's raw, and it just keeps getting weirder. The smoke alarms are still chirping. I, I wanna document that, because I just heard a chirp, and I thought maybe it was a an alarm, or maybe the, hinges squeaking which tells me this is vacant obviously but if the smoke alarms are still chirping then who knows why or what forced these people out or 
what this place even is. I don't get it. Okay, my first initial reaction is we had the dashboard in our vehicle pulling the Paranosis trailer pulled apart. And if we can get uh, a tight shot of the dashboard of this vehicle, and the message that I just got even as I speak about that particular shot, is this, folks, is life imitating art. You notice the pictures in the background on the barn is a 100% mock-up replica of the vehicle here. So you have the real life shot. And then in the background, posted to the barn is that identical shot. The plot in the story here just keeps getting weirder. I, I'm beside myself just even pondering how ironic all of this is. And notice in the background, again posted on the barn, is this picture. And it's an infinity picture. It just keeps happening. Unbelievable. You'd almost have to be here in person experiencing what we're experiencing. And I'm hoping that you guys can see it and not only see it, but feel it. This is weird. It doesn't get stranger than this. And the signs that I've talked about in the other vlogs we just keep getting more and more powerful statements. This isn't planned. As a matter of fact, Josh came back and said, hey, Vincent, you have to check this out. Brought me back here. What you're seeing is the first time that we're experiencing it. We didn't come back and decide to film this. This is real. This is real time. This is a shot that was not planned. This was not edited. It's real, it's raw, and it just keeps getting stranger. Unbelievable, I mean. And again, I just, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Mark my words, it's just gonna keep getting stranger because this is only the beginning. We're, we're still four hours away from our destination. See the little lizard running in? To, it's just, wow. It's so vacant, it's so quiet. You can hear nothing except for that cat. The sunset, the mood, even the air feels different. It just, and wow, another message here. Another sign. <laughs> Wow. I'm getting creeped out. <laughs> and again, we're back to the original sign that started all the curiosity. Welcome to Paranosis.
Okay, so really quick, yet another, I, I, I just keep saying curse because it just feels like so many things are going wrong. 65 miles an hour up the highway, about an hour and a half outside of our destination and the trailer, the truck starts swaying. The pin broke off of the hitch. I just, it's it's weird again. We just keep having incident after incident. And uh, I, I'd say we, we're dragging the, the tongue of the trailer. You can see the, this is not the white line separating the highway from that out there. This is where we're actually dragging the trailer sparks. I'm just glad we're all okay and able to document this. But again, another tragedy strikes paranosis. Everything has a price and we keep paying. I can't wait till the payoff when we're actually at Washoe. That's gonna be the finale and who knows what we're in for at that point. If it's any indication of what's been happening so far, you guys are in for a treat because this is insanity. I don't get it. It's weird. Hopefully we survive to show you the final product at the end of this journey. But like I mentioned earlier, the journey to Washoe has been an experience all yeah. in itself. Unbelievable. That I keep saying that word because it really, this isn't scripted. This is like, Wow, this is happening. Is it fitting now? Yes. Awesome. So, I hate to predict the future, but you can always predict the future by looking at the past. And according to what's happened so far, this is the journey's just begun, and we haven't even made it to Paracon yet. So, put your seatbelts on, guys. Glad we had ours on. We're going for a ride. Yeehaw. See you on the next Paranosis vlog. Hopefully, the next time you see us, it's going to be good news and that we arrive to our hotel. But if this is any indication of what's going to happen, I, uh, I hope we have enough battery and tape for what's about to happen. Jeez, I give up. So ironically, as Josh was down filming the footage of the skid, which is probably 400 foot skid, he comes down and tells me, Vincent, you're not gonna believe this, but right where the trailer had broke off from the truck, there's a scorpion. I thought he was messing with me. Walk down, sure enough, white scorpion, right where the trailer breaks off from the truck. Is there any folklore behind that? Is it superstition? I don't know. Which just solidifies everything comes with a price. Yet another sign, white scorpion. Is it bad luck? At this point, I'm gonna say, yep. Well guys, the good news is we finally made it. The journey getting here is finally over. I have my NyQuil, my earplugs, and I'm officially signing out. Brandon, Vince, and Josh, good night guys. <laughs> <laughs>
knock on metal that this thing's gonna start going for the better here. So, uh, yeah, on our way to the parts store. It is 8.30 in the morning. Oh, fuck, it ain't 8.30. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. 7.30. 7.30. Fuck! It is 7.30. Because the clock on there is not changed. My phone has changed. And that's the 7.38. You want to do a vlog from the seat? Ooh, vlog from the seat, huh? Napa was closed, as you can obviously see. Now, uh, now we, we flagged are. down Cal Nevada Towing and Auto Truck Repair, which is closed <laughs> on Saturday, but there happened to be someone here washing their truck, which is, fingers crossed, going to help us get Have to the, the right next bill. mishap. Get to the next mishap? It seems to be the reoccurring. That's not what we want to say, the guys. Reoccurring. And just remember, everything, everything has, has a, a price. price. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm guessing since it's not on that it's probably not good. It's news. too short or too long. But it's also too wide. For, for being with me during this whole thing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh Jesus! Jesus left! <laughs> Jesus left! <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. I hit record for Paranosis fans, after all the mishaps and all the mayhem what leading up to this <laughs> moment, we finally made it to Paracon 2015. Los, Las Vegas Paracon? Yes. And Mr. Cleve Hall is sitting next to me. An awesome reunion here. I know. I missed you. Oh, yes. good to see you. I signed with Salt Lake City. Yes. Yes. That was a kind of an affair, too. Yeah, right? And here we yeah. are again. In front of the cameras, in front of the fans, in front of the madness oh, yeah. and the chaos. Yeah, about that, actually. We're in a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> but leading up to this point, you've witnessed the vlog up to this journey, all the mishaps from the trailer breaking down, the van breaking down. The rental car being stolen. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> what what happened with that deal? I walked out to load the car and it was gone. See, that's... And I called the rental car company. They didn't know anything about it. <laughs> we won't mention any rental car company they names were, at yes, this point. <laughs> they were not nice about it. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> they wouldn't rent me another one or give me one, so I had to go to another rental company and get one. That's why I didn't get here until 6.30 this morning. And they are not sponsoring this, by the way. We are. Oh, don't leave yes. me. So, 2015 Paracon, ready to rock out. Mm -hmm. Just do all kinds of crazy stuff. And yeah, it's on, guys. She has a blue mouth. <laughs> get her. <laughs> I love it. It's candid. It, it That's works. That's very paranormal <laughs> when your mouth's going to So the question is, mm -hmm. Washoe Club, yeah. Tomorrow, the big investigation, everything going wrong, is something trying to warn us not to do this, but sure they could not stop the dynamic duo here in our world domination takeover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He says it best, yeah. <laughs> well, seriously, man. It's like, I mean, it, it's, like, it's like a bad news buffet here. <laughs> <laughs> Step it's right up to go the bad right. news buffet. Seriously, you got to He's gonna... Oh, they're going to do a yeah. gunfight. We're going to be right in the middle of it. Be sure to get that on film, because I'm sure we'll get shot with a blank and something oh, yeah. we'll go, dramatic oh, will happen. Dave, what, Dave Eric Heck, someone who was his name. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Um, hmm? From a blank. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we should get a paramedic just to stand by, just in case, because of the yeah. luck we've had up to this point. So, yeah. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> So hopefully 
everything goes good from this point forward. And remember, everything comes with a price. It just, that's... Fortunately, we have an investor backing us. <laughs> <laughs> and we're paying that price right now. Yeah. But thank God it's not like 120 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> you got 20? I only got 15. Got Wait a minute. That's because you broke the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> the curse continues and, and we want to thank the crew behind the scenes that you're not seeing right now we got Sean and, and and Brandon and and Josh here running the camera Sean's gonna Josh. come up and say hi hey. this guy <laughs> so it's along with all the kids right <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, he's from Utah. There you go. No, here we go. It all comes in. We could have started that yeah, now, huh? Hey, we did Sandlot in Utah. That was a fun shoot. Yeah, that, that's really right. Weird. You, yeah. you did film Sandlot that. Sandlot was did in the Monster Dog. Yeah, we shot that in Salt Lake City. Oh, sweet. Look, uh, two months in Salt Lake City, boy, and that was like in eighty, no, ninety one. <laughs> he didn't like my type. And that's much. why <laughs> we had to come out here because he won't go back there, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's done so well. Yeah, that's like Jacksonville, Florida. You know, they did a thing on me on the. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I know what they did a thing when I went uh, for the premiere of Twisted Nightmare, and they had it on the news, and the cops probably going, I know that dude! <laughs> we had him in here every weekend. <laughs> they didn't like people with funny hair. <laughs> so be sure to go get Sandlot. Yeah, go and, yeah. and, and pick Man, that up. Nice. What other films have you worked on? Well, then? the ones that people might have actually watched. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, I played Godzilla. Yeah. So, Godzilla, yeah. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Godzilla. Yes, you know that? I could have died that no, day I and I would not have cared because I played Godzilla. That, that was the ro yeah. road was Santa. Yes. You gotta love it. Mm -hmm. Godzilla. Hells so, yeah. Monsters are as much fun to play as they are to make. Right. And you're the master at making and playing. Yeah, much. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I do. There I you go. There's some of his kids right now. <laughs> <laughs> the stars. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Paracon 2015. Cleve Hall. Vincent Lords. Peace out. Mm. So they say that the only way to get stronger is through trials. Well, fuck the trials. I don't want to be stronger no more. <laughs> The boys back from Paranosis today, the third day, the 2nd of August, It's a million degrees out, and that's a very good thing, because I yeah. don't survive in the heat. Very, very well, yeah, dressed in black, in the desert, ready to do this, at least it's overcast. Yeah. And so far the morning's gone good, nothing bad has happened, so Shh. hopefully that's going to be turning <laughs> <Don't laughs> forward. They found our stolen car back in LA, so we're okay. Yay. Please have it, okay. That's Thank good, you. so things are starting to look up for the journey. Hopefully now, the final destination, the yeah. Washoe Club, the investigation tonight, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. We're going to drive safe, we're going to get back, and we'll do another vlog as soon as we get there and anything that happens in between. So, let's do it, guys. I'll, I'll catch up with you. Cool. Be careful driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Washoe City. I want one of those things. Okay, guys, the journey continues to Virginia City, the Washoe Club. Had one incident, but it wasn't bad. Got pulled over by an officer that said that we were speeding and that our trailer lights were out, but he did not ticket us. That's a good sign. But on a different note, we've made it to Death Valley. Hopefully that's not a bad sign, but a good sign. But the journey continues. Virginia City, Washoe Club, Paranosis, Josh, Brandon, road trip. We're out. Till the next time. I bet you didn't think you'd see me again doing another bad news vlog. Maybe we should call it that, Josh. The bad That's news vlog. So. Just outside the last vlog we did, we were at Death Valley. Out in the middle of Death Valley almost. We're not, we're not quite to Death Valley, but it's probably 100 degrees out easily. Plus we're on the side of the road because the spare blew out. No phone service. 
luckily somebody pulled over and has taken Brandon up to hopefully find a plug and or replacement. But uh, me and Josh decided to make the best of it. Got the generator and the old trusty ACs going. So now we have power. We don't have a barbecue, but that would have been really nice. We could have just camped here. We're gonna hang out until otherwise notified. Oh, we heard the other half of the team went the other way. So thinking that we'd leave early and they'd pass us at some point in case there was a problem, they're probably 100, 200 miles the opposite direction. So apparently we went the wrong way too. So, but we don't have phone service, so we don't have GPS. So note to the whole cast and crew of Paranosas, let's buy a physical old school paper map. Sometimes old school is the new technology. <laughs> Vincent Lords live with the vlog this will be hopefully the last vlog before we're live at the Washoe Club in Virginia City, Nevada. Paranosis coming at ya. Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent Lords here with our final Paranosis vlog. We've traveled a long time paid a lot of consequences, but I've got good news to report this time. Because we finally made it to the world famous one and only Washoe Club, Virginia City, Nevada. Now remember folks, the catchphrase here is everything has a price. Well, it's time for us to collect. Let's go inside and investigate. <laughs> 